I call Isabella Hargreaves. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I am here today to talk about social media. However, I don't believe that the damaging effects of social media need more and more awareness. Around New Zealand and around the world, social media is already a heavily discussed topic. People are aware that it is leading to addiction, to low self-esteem, to anxiety, depression, political separatism and radicalisation of beliefs. People are aware that it is threatening mental health and the strength of democracy. I am here today to talk about how this House has not passed a single bill to control the negative effects of everyday social media use. Mr Speaker, as my generation and the youth MPs in this House have grown up, the damaging effects of social media have been discussed and studied more and more. However, I believe the time for talking about this issue is over, because what do we think this will achieve? It's time we take action. It's the features that make social media companies so damaging and addictive that also make them so profitable as businesses. This is a huge conflict of interest, and it's why these companies cannot be allowed to regulate themselves. It's expecting them to choose user well-being over profit, and sadly, they will never do this. These companies rely on highly intelligent algorithms, which gather personal information and create such addictive explore pages. They won't make changes to this extremely lucrative model, and it's naive to believe that they will. It's also important to remember that these platforms aren't inherently harmful. They've been designed to push extremism, to cause comparison and feelings of inadequacy. They've been designed to make it harder and harder to stop using them. But as people discuss and study this issue, the companies make huge profits and people continue to suffer. Social media could be a force for good, but I believe it's up to the government to make it this way. I call on the government to work with other countries and social media companies to regulate these platforms. They need to regulate the algorithms which gather personal information and create such addictive explore pages. They also need to examine how these algorithms quickly radicalise beliefs through the recommendations. They need to enforce age restrictions, put an end to data mining, like and follow accounts and filters. I call on the government to take notice of the world that we are living in. A world where misinformation is threatening democracy and mental health is extremely low. A world where these companies make huge profits at the expense of society because they remain unregulated. Why do we continue to discuss and study this issue while people suffer? Because these platforms can change and it's time the government made them. Thank you. Um, I call Samantha Bergen.